All right, it's uh, Mike Bear with Free Speech Media. I'm here at Dundas Square in Toronto. Uh, go ahead and give us your first name and uh, give us your message. What do you want people to know? Okay, my name is Paul Collins. Like, um, I, I occasionally blog through angiesdiary.com. And uh, I've been raising the issue with a lot of politicians, and it, I've been doing it since probably late 2017 and onwards. And I got a good response from Bill Morneau, but he's gone now. Okay, so the issue is this. In, in uh, 2007, I published a book through an internet book publisher. It's, the book sells everywhere on the internet. Wild Reviews wasn't paid a penny for it. So 2011, I self-published a book through iUniverse. Now after five years of blogging, I was told by the second publisher to get an IRS number. Why? The second publisher had a revenue sharing agreement in play. Okay, so that allows us authors to get paid. Okay, first publisher didn't do that. So I want to go to the my first main demand, okay, uh, is this. I, all I'm asking for is I want the Ontario Ministry of Labour to guide that first publisher, eTreasures Publishing, through the retrieval of book sales data from Indigo Books. I have an Ontario first proposal, okay, and I, and I want Ontario Ministry of Labour to make eTreasures Publishing a better book publisher, help them retrieve book sales data, get paid, and help me get paid. The politician that does that is an automatic states person because that's all the reform needed in the book publishing industry. Like, I don't know, like a lot of people don't know and they don't realize that online book publishing is going through a revolution, okay? Anyone can publish a book, but is a publisher books, are they tech savvy? Can they retrieve book sales data to get paid and help the authors get paid? That's, hence, Ontario Ministry of Labor comes in. Okay, so it's an Ontario first proposal. Now, I also interviewed a Canadian filmmaker named Frank Crusoe. He makes kinky movies about good films. Okay? That's the story. Well, he made his movie. Okay? He wanted to make money with his movie. So he uploaded it to Netflix. Okay? Now, it got 100,000 views. Or maybe that. I don't know. And, and then it appeared on 100 other websites. He gets paid for Netflix. But 100 other websites, he doesn't get paid for. Them. So this is where I want the Ontario Ministry of Labor to force these rogue operators to pay up. It even like companies like Indigo Books, possibly Amazon, but this is an Ontario first proposal, okay? Now, the two visuals I'll give you is this. Imagine an ex-convict or an ex-gang member had, you know, self-published a book and had a, and their publisher had a hard time retrieving book sales data, okay? We're staring at a, we're staring at a cost-effective way of reintroducing marginalized people into the 21st century workplace, it doesn't cost the government a penny, okay? And it's the second visual I have is another interesting one, okay? I went to Now Magazine and I had a copy with a press release, press release with my book, you know, you know, whatever, package, picture, whatever. And I went to Now Magazine. What's the name of the book? It was called Mystery of Every Man's Way. Call the camera. Mystery of Every Man's Way, published through eTreasures Publishing. Now, I, I passed the package to the editor of Now Magazine and she threw it over her shoulder. And I was like, wow, this is a publisher of Now Magazine. Holy editor, wow. Okay, so I so I started to pitch the book. I did, you know, give the 10 minute, you know, 30 second elevator pitch. And and she, you know, she said, it's in the slush pile. Okay, um, you want it back. Okay, that slush pile at Now Magazine made Amazon into a trillion dollar company. That slush pile at Now Magazine can make Now Magazine a billion dollar company through e-commerce. Digest that, okay? Because any tech guy, any e-commerce expert would agree with me. And that's how we save the integrity of independent media, okay? So I'm gonna give you the big picture view of what I'm saying, okay? So I'm gonna go back a bit, so please forgive me, okay? Um, just to help the explanation. I'll just say though, keep it brief because people lose their, you know how stupid people are. Yeah, yeah. short attention. Sure, speech, absolutely. Right? So, yeah. Okay, absolutely. Get to the point where you want them to do. Yeah. Well, well I, I told you what I, I told you what. Yeah. They need to have, it's like, call to call action. action. Call to action. The call to action is this, okay? Now, imagine a book can't be published, bought, or sold off the internet without its author, a living author, having a revenue sharing agreement. That alone would save the retail industry from collapse. Okay? Secondly, anyone can self-publish a book through Toronto Central Library, okay? So you walk in, you can self-publish a book, pay X amount of dollars per page, you have to ask for an ISBN number. Now, if there was a revenue sharing agreement, that would pump money into the library system. Some schools also have the same 
book, print, book printing publishing service that would pump money to education, of course save the retail industry, add movies, TV, the music business, and YouTube to the equation. It's a deal of all deals. And this all important thing leads to is just Ontario Minister of Labor should have more power, forcing these big companies and rogue operators to pay up. And the Ontario First Law, what I'm proposing, and this could be the standard, is that a book can't be published, bought, or sold off the internet without its author, living author, having a revenue share. A revenue sharing agreement can't be stolen by a lawyer in a, in a legal agreement, a lit agent, or, or even a movie producer, and, and flip for profit. Why? Because the book can't be published, bought, or sold off the internet without its author living the author having a revenue sharing agreement. Even Rome had a bow to the 20th century. Now that proposal alone, that Ontario First proposal alone, would have would pump money to libraries, education, save the retail industry, add movies, TV, music, business, YouTube, creation. Deal of all deals. Okay, let's take it back okay. to the beginning. What's the call to action? What do you want them to do? The action I want. 30 seconds. Is I want the Ontario Minister of Labour to guide my independent publisher through the retrieval of book sales data from Chapter Syndical. That would help my independent publisher get paid, a better book publisher, help me get paid. Politician does that, automatic states person. It's all the reform needed. Uh, you don't need to break up Amazon to reform it. That's my call to action right there. Thank you. I thank you guys.